niggas be doing too fucking much. You would think it was a big fat ass the way it just bounced across my room. I don't know why these niggas keep on stalking me. They want to copy me. Make sure you're drinking that water so you piss one look like Hennessy. I'm so excited to do this fucking wig because one of the besties at LMT Cosmetics, they sent me a wig, right? And when I tell you every time, it eats. Look at this motherfucking sad part. Oh my God, the sad part is, is eating it up. I'm blue as hell because I don't have a, um, a hot comb no more. Because y'all, why the fuck did I leave my hot comb in Vegas? Girl, that is so not cash money in me. I know, I know whoever my cleaning lady was came up that day. Do y'all see how good that shit? Oh, it's giving scalp. Like I'm finna cry. It's either this brown looks sexy as hell, but I low key feel like maybe I shouldn't have did black browns. I should have just did dark brown. But at the same time, I don't know. I don't know. Gee, it's so funny because everybody be asking. Ugh, it's giving, it's giving Casper right now. Let me hurry up and do these brows so I can turn this light off. Okay, this is decent. This is decent. It's low-key like blowing me because <laughs> my skin is so pale. And anything dark on me is always going to look like bleh, bleh, bleh. So it's just like, uh, we got to, we got to make it work. And then you be able to kind of see where you wipe that around the brows. I be like, oh girl. Okay, the brows look a little decent now that I'm looking in the natural lighting a little bit, but yeah. We finna go in with my moisturizer. I don't even remember, well, I remember where it's from, but I don't have a link to it no more. I'm gonna have to find it. Cause this definitely be working. Y'all, I've been using this foundation like crazy. It's so funny to me. Because back then i used to get the cheapest shit y'all and i go like i feel like that's one of the best feelings about being a girl is when you like find new products when your like beauty and skincare routines evolve like i love shit like that because back in the day y'all i was using wet and wild foundation and i don't know about y'all but what Bitch, I know you lying. Why the fuck would you get this on the brow? Are you slow? What's wrong with you? Okay, let me see. It's getting off a little bit. You could tell. I'm finna get pressed off. Oh, you know what? You won't steal my joy. And I'm like finna be zooming in that, that much on them damn pictures. But I ain't gonna lie, y'all. At the same time, people do be zooming in like that on them fucking pictures. And it's irritating because it's like... I say social media is not real for a reason. So what? I got a filter on. So what? I got some makeup on. I don't care. I will say though, I have like slowed down on. Where the fuck is the settings for? Oh my god, I gotta keep getting up. Oh, never mind. I ain't gonna lie, I had to get out of using filters though. Like I'm slowly but surely getting out of using filters just because. Oh, bitch, when I tell y'all I was so dependent, it was crazy. I'm gonna cut this light back on just so I could see the makeup better. I like that natural looking arch in my, uh, in my brows. But me, my brows is hard to see, so I don't be, like, wanting to wax in that area. I will say, I don't like thick brows on me. And, like, now that I'm thinking back, I used to hate getting my eyebrows done at my old job because it was just kind of like, um, these brows is fat. And I like for everything on me to be proportioned. Like my lip to nose ratio is A1. So it's like, I can't have no fat ass brows. That's just how I think about it. Especially based off my hair shape. It's like, no, I want the attention to be in this part. I don't want the attention to be in this part. Like, cause these bras are still giving paper towels. What's going on? Y'all, winter is approaching. And I know it's getting cold outside, but to whoever we, I used to talk to, whoever out there saying, oh yeah, I used to talk to a bitch. When you're spinning the block and you're looking at your contact list of names, please skip over me, please. I ain't gonna lie. I've been irritated with the dating scene in general. So it's like, I'm gonna take me a little break. Cause I ain't gonna lie. It feel like we searching through the clearance rack or something. And I only say that because y'all, this knowing your worth shit is ass. I only say it's ass because sometimes 
the type of to the makeup girlies don't say i'm not supposed to be smudging it i know i'm not i'm just very impatient it's like i say we search through the clearance break because sometimes i be want to have a good time that's it it's the difference between a fun boy and a fava boy a lot of you niggas are fun boys you're only good for the f and sometimes i'm not even good for that because sometimes the dick be on flintstone but it's like the fun boy you're the adventure. You're the adventure. Nine times out of ten, my daddy will never meet you. It's like a forever boy. That's the one that you take home to the family. That's the one that's coming to the family reunions every year. So much to the point where they start asking, like, so when y'all finna start having kids? When y'all finna get married? You know, shit like that. I've had to decipher and recognize the difference between the fun boy and the forever boy. And I'm cool with that. I'm cool with sometimes having me a nice love. I'm not even gonna call it a sneaky link because, bitch, I'm grown as hell. Like, I'm too big to be sneaking around. And I'm heavy footed as fuck, bitch. My sneaking ain't even gonna be sneaking. Sometimes a bitch can go for a little, you know, late night phone call. Like, hey, I wanna pull up on you so we could talk. And we really not talking. We, well, you know, the fake conversation before you get to the doonies. That, that talking. Or sometimes I don't mind doing that and then going on a dates and shit. Or not even going on dates, just going on adventures and fun shit. But where 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 the where the line starts to become blurred, I'm getting white line. But where the line starts to become blurred, it's where niggas be being delusional. Then it's like if a nigga don't have shit, he's gonna have the audacity. So it's really giving y'all are becoming Audacity, uh, Lulu, cause bitch, ugh, be feeling like the roles is becoming to be reversed. Like, cause me, the type of bitch I am, we could lay up, call each other bae, cuddle, all type of shit. I rub your back and all type. But once I leave, my life is now resuming. This ain't that. Like, and that may sound so crazy to certain people, but again, this is for some for the people that don't want to be like in a relationship. But when they want to be in a relationship, the people are not showing the qualities, if that makes sense. Recently, I've been putting a lot of shit on pause when it comes to like dating and just a, a lot of extra shit because it's like. I don't take men serious already. Like, I, and disclaimer, for the girlies that be seeing me talk about women, then see me talk about men, but they haven't seen me talk about women for real. So when they see me talk about a woman, they be like, oh, not you switching sides, baby. Don't be late to the party. This is nothing new. I like what I like. Only thing is, I don't play around with women. I don't. Like, if you if I'm talking to a girl, I'm talking to just one woman only. But with me, and it's like, uh, who's next? Go, go. Something else that I find funny that a lot of people don't understand and they don't be able to wrap their head around is when they see a woman that's like casually dating, they be like, oh, that's a lot of bodies. Who said I was fucking any of these men? Like, if we're going to be anything, let's be fucking for real. Because I'm going to be so real with y'all. I have told dudes off rip once they start talking sexual, I'm going to warn you. If we start talking sexual, I'm not going to take you serious. And I find that funny when dudes be like, oh, if she fuck on the first link. If she do this, she do that. She a hoe. Oh, she not wife for material. If I fucked you on the first link, I don't see you as my husband because I don't give a fuck about you enough to even know what you about. And it's like, and it's like, of course, you know, the basic shit, like, what's your name? What's your age? You know, what's your sign? What do you do for work? You know, basic shit like that. But like, as far as like your childhood trauma or that sounds so sick, like that sounds so mean, but like. I have to put it in the perspective of the woman's point of view because a lot of men be like, oh yeah, if you do this on the first thing, you do that. We not go, a man not gonna take you serious. A woman not. I mean, if y'all think about us like that, what do y'all think we think of y'all like? That just, that was a tongue twister. Why why is it different when it's when a when it's on a woman's perspective? Because I'm gonna be so real with you. I don't be giving a fuck about what some of y'all be talking about either. Like, we came over here for one thing. 
I don't give a fuck about you trying to start a rap career. I don't give a fuck about you studying for your CDL. I don't give a fuck that you keep getting into it with your baby mama. I, well, I actually do give a fuck about shit like that. I, that's why I don't talk to men with kids. Because, like, what you mean your your son got a stomachache and he wants you to come over to the house? And it's, like, 1 in the morning. Find you somebody to play with while I sit in that whole house. And, again, it's, like, with the whole hunching on the first link... I don't judge people that do it because, I don't know, we all got that moment where our standards be 50% off because, you know, it's one of them moments. But it's like, who am I to judge anyway, bitch? If you want to give that cat up, give that cat. Let's make sure you be being protected and getting tested. That's, that's literally all that matters. I'm not even trying to sound like I'm reversing each, like perspective but that's how i genuinely be feeling like when dudes be like oh yeah my respect level for women goes down if they sleep with me on the first night uh is that supposed to hurt my feelings because it's like where did you see us going before the draws got dropped and these is usually the dudes that put it all out there my my conspiracy theory when it comes to this topic i feel like men only be feeling like that way towards women they don't find attractive but they would just use as a one night stand or a booty call versus them getting done like that by a woman that they really find attractive then it's like yeah you know that doesn't feel good right or even if it's not the like even if it's not somebody that they found attractive it could always be somebody pulling a them on them so then it's like damn that's crazy. I say that to say this because when I have like came into contact with dudes that be want to talk to me and shit, it be the same stuff. Oh, I been wanted you. Oh, you're so beautiful. Oh, I'm just waiting on you to take me serious. But yet you have sent me like three unsolicited dick pictures. Okay, like I have a list in my phone of stuff that I don't like that men do and I kind of tally everything up so where you only get two strikes depending on, I sometimes depending on the severity of the stuff that I don't like, you might get three strikes but certain shit you might get two or in most cases, you'll get one. It's like, it's like with, with, like with that, it'd be so weird. I'm thinking of one moment in particular, actually. Yeah, I was talking to this dude. I had to be about like 19 or 20. And I ain't gonna lie. I'm glad my dumb bitch senses kicked out by the time I was in my adulthood. Because I'm young and turning now. I wish the fuck I would be sitting by the phone, crying all alone on the bathroom floor, waiting for a man to pick my motherfucking phone call up. Bitch. Oh, bitch, please. All that, oh, but at the end of the day, he come home to me. Shit is out the window. Get your big grown ass up and get in the field. Basically, I was talking to this boy, right? And at the time, I really did like him. Like, genuinely. Franklin, hey, mommy's telling a story. Let's sit that ass down and be still. Gee, why the fuck somebody stole Franklin food? His little calcium powder that go on his lettuce and his damn, um, I don't know what it's called, but it's something that go in the water so it could purify it or something like that for him. But they stole it. So whoever stay in my building and watch my videos, I want you to relay the message, ho. Whoever stole my package, I hope you're enjoying Total Food with your thirsty, thieving ass. But anyways, so... Me and the dude was talking, and at the, and at, like, at the beginning, I genuinely liked him. Like, and I knew I liked him because we was going to sleep on the phone, y'all. I stopped going to sleep on the phone when I was 17. It just be certain shit where I'm just like, uh, same nigga, different fine. So, a lot of shit I just stopped doing early on because it's like, you're not going to get my hopes up. Like, you're not. And this boy, we was always on the phone and shit like, talking every day, all day. But then shit kind of changed because... What the fuck happened? Shit basically kind of changed because I think, like, the end of the... Man, you... Yeah, in, in these little text relationships and situationships, you will think the child will be together for years and months. Bitch, this is about the end of the week that this nigga started acting weird. Why? We was on the phone and he started, you know... Shaking that weight. I was like, um... 
I'm like, oh, what's going on? Like, and, and it's like, I feel like a lot of people need to look into how weird that is and pay the fuck attention. Because why are you secretly, you know, being nasty to yourself while we on the phone? And I'm not even aware of what's going on. The red flag number two was just the fact that we never did that before. Like, why would you pick the day to do that shit? I've actually started to like you and you're being a weird little boy. And it's like after that, we would barely like talk until we would get on the phone i learned the hard way like stop like learn how to check shit at the door and then it's like with that i never used to speak up on a lot of shit that made me uncomfortable so it was just like eh. you need to you need to do better that's why i am glad that i actually like speak up now when some shit is being weird because i tell somebody quick at the door like you want to be with me but you're like already trying to get sexual that's weird that's weird and i don't like the fact that dudes don't get that shit a lot of dudes i have came to terms with i've came to terms with a lot of dudes are delusional so they'll think that y'all flirt for a couple days if y'all are sexually active with each other y'all you know do the do a couple times and y'all just together but the motherfucker has to take you on a date the motherfucker hasn't called you to, i be able to tell people if a nigga don't call y'all he don't like you he don't like you like i used to talk to this boy and he worked for domino's pizza and he was why did i just name drop his job <laughs> if you seen this fuck you because that was my man for real y'all if a, if a man wanted to, he would. Like, that man would be calling me while he was delivering pizzas, bitch. Like, if a nigga don't call you, he don't like you. And I'm not saying, like, damn, say take a shot every time I say like. Because, girl, what the fuck do you got going on? But I'm not saying that I have got sexual to do it and then they started acting weird towards me. Because I'm the initiator, okay? I don't, I don't play that, oh, I fucked and ducked her. No. Slut him out and never talk to him again. But what I'm saying is, I just don't take a dude serious where it's like, we texting this shit and the vibe is good. Then you start doing some sexual shit. And it's, the vibe just changed. Like, the vibe changes badly. Because it's like, damn, shorty, if you want it some big birthday, you ain't have to waste a bitch time and shit. You asking me to ask me what my hobbies is and shit. Did you even really care? Or did you really just want to know what Bertha's hobbies were? I'm watching you but yeah it's like now i definitely be calling a nigga out when he be like on some weird shit like he try to be i don't know i don't get it i don't i, I be really feeling like it's like a a, a a chromosome shortage when it comes to the dating scene of, with my age group because i'm not gonna say i'm gonna go with the flow type of girl but i'm i'll, I'll just say i don't teach people how to be with me Let's just say that. i never forget, I was talking to this boy. And it's like, he kind of was like, we wasn't doing shit, but like, flirting. And then, you know, we have a little Delulu spell, you know. But it all, my Delulu spells always get ruined because the niggas always like to mention getting me pregnant. Like, bitch, we can talk about when the wedding, but like, what are you talking about, babies? What are you talking about? This is pretty. Oh, shit. I swear to God, beauty blenders be doing too fucking much. You would think it was a big fat ass the way it just bounced across my room. It's like, I don't be taking dudes serious. Like, and that's why I be telling everybody around me when they like, talking about, oh, I'm dating a Mary. Just stay true to yourself and your standards. I be telling myself, when it feel like you lowering your standards and you're settling, that's when you need to take a fucking break. Because it's like you're willing to accept anything. Like, bitch, it's not that fucking deep. I never forget. I made a the the McFuck boy video. Half of the McFuck boys was a nigga I was talking to wrapped in one. I was like, bitch, not the pot calling the kettle black. You're lying. Oh, this is decent. This is decent as hell. This is decent as hell. Mm. Oh my God, why did I just do that? I feel like I just rambled so much and y'all didn't understand nothing I just said. But basically what I'm trying to say is money talks, bullshit runs a fucking marathon. If you feel like you're settling, that means you need to sit your ass down and wait till coach call you back in the game. Cause like I was trying to force myself to be back in the game, but it's just like, <sighs> do you really want to be in a match of pajamas that bad? I remember it was a point in time where I was settling for a motherfucker that never took me on a date. Like, 
girl, why are you sitting on the phone arguing with a man that doesn't spend any money? Oh, girl, that's not like a horror film. Like, I'm doing so good right now. I'm finna get my number changed, all type of shit. And to the, every nigga that watch my videos that I be talking to, yes. If you see this and you don't have the contact. Mm. I'm not getting my something again. Mm -hmm. I don't be giving a fuck. Am I one of those girlies that be... Like, you know, ghosting out of nowhere. I sure do. I sure do. And I don't be feeling the fuck bad. And and I say I never feel bad for ghosting because I literally ghost people. Like, I literally ghost people where we wasn't making no progress. It's never like I talk to them about, like, how they, how they like, slack and they could do better. And it's an improvement. It's always the same shit, same excuses, you know? And that's another thing. Like, I had to learn how to stop trying with people. Like, if, if a motherfucker already kind of telling you who they is, what is you steady trying to be stupid sticking to their ass for? I see why half my little makeup gifts was gifts. Like, y'all know this foundation was like 30 something dollars. And I fuck with my stepmama heavy because it's like she be, when she see that I'm interested in something, I will say like she always show the fuck out. Like literally my first time ever like being around her and knowing her and she learned that I was um into art. Like I think that was like a week or two before my birthday. Either way, she bought me like a whole fucking art set whole art set like probably bought me like three packs of canvases so that was 15 canvases total bought me like the the charcoal that you uh do the sketchbook shadow uh drawings with it was just so like that was very thoughtful so now she said that i'm getting the makeup i ain't gonna lie at first it was irritating because i'm always unfortunately <laughs> i don't like i have a problem with taking criticism just because I always feel like it's a personal attack based off of the family members in the past that I've been around. Uh, like, I always feel like something is, like, done to embarrass me versus, like, to help me. And it's like, I I always have a good game face when I'm getting the criticism, but when I'm getting the criticism, I'm like, why the fuck is this bitch talking to me? And that's with everybody. That's, that's just not with her. Because I love her to death. But it's like... When I be seeing the actions after the criticism, it be like, okay, she's trying to help me out. Because I remember the first couple times I came around her, my makeup was cakey as hell, y'all. Like, I just started learning how to get into, um, what the fuck? I just started learning how to get into makeup as far as, like, how to prep your skin. Y'all see me moisturize and do primer, and I was not doing that. I was raw dog in makeup for, like, 10 years of my life. Because I started wearing makeup when I was like 12, but I wouldn't wear makeup outside or nothing like that. But I didn't start wearing makeup in high school until I was like 11th grade, I believe. But that shit was fucked up. Like to whoever used to let me go outside walking like this, count your days, bitch. It's like, it's like due to like certain women, family members I've had in the past that always do weird shit. It, it be hard for me to take the criticism, but I still be appreciative of it. I'm definitely working on it because it's like, I don't be want people to feel like, damn, you can't tell this bitch nothing. She's difficult to work with. Don't nobody, can't nobody talk to her because she gonna get an attitude. I don't want people to feel like that around me, you know? Because it's been situations where I've genuinely, like, appreciated the criticism, but I didn't know how to handle it just because... <laughs> I don't know if you're trying to be funny or if you're trying to, like, genuinely help me. 2024 and the two months left we got in 2023, let's heal that inner child. Let's heal that inner child. Because I ain't going to lie to you. The the part of me that be wanting to, like, clap back at motherfuckers when I'm getting criticism or when somebody trying to tell me about myself, that be the inner teenager that I always felt attacked growing up. Because, y'all, oh, my God, that shit is, like... That's horrible. Because I seen this post that was like, um, 
your inner child wants love your inner teenager wants revenge and your current self wants peace and it's like i felt that because like i don't want revenge on nobody because literally everybody that has wronged me in my life they're getting their revenge as we speak damn it everybody that ever talked bad about me in high school they're either in jail dead or they're pregnant single parent dead um fatter than me bitch because it was so many bitches that used to talk shit about me and now we the same size or you bigger what happened big mama y'all the wig style is gonna be very short but i want to show you how to do a glueless wig because i still want to curl it even though she gave me the wig already styled it's just certain curls that i want to refresh because i'm doing layers like i want to kind of do like a feather bang and I'm glad she ain't do it for me. I'm glad she just curled it. Because I like to go crazy with the scissors a little bit. And it's crazy because this part is still like, it still has some room to be parted. So I think I'm going to make a deeper part. I did not know I had this much lace space back here. Yeah, I got the clear braids. Smash your business. Now that it's parted in place, I'm going to use my little, I'm going to use my little curling iron. So, you know, smooth it down the old school way. Oh, and then I got my shears so I could cut the little layers in the bang. These, you need these. I no fucking kitchen scissors. I learned the hard way. Then I'm going to use the bands to melt it a little bit. Something else I like about this wig is that it's very, like, silky. Like, gee, what is this? She really snapped. Oh, that's crazy. That the curls that I've been wanting for the longest, I just been curling my head the wrong way. It's so hard doing curls on yourself versus doing curls on like uh another person. So my phone lit it up down when I was recording, but this is literally the next day. Off the wake up is crazy. Uh but yeah, I took me a couple of pictures the day I shot the video, but then I was like <sighs> I didn't do a fucking outro. Not only is this gonna be an outro, but I'm going to be showing y'all that this really is glueless. Cause you see, if you look up close on my scalp, obviously you're gonna tell it's a lace. Why? Because it's fabric. Welcome to, we don't give a fuck about the lace lieutenants with Monet. I personally feel like when you have a face card that never declines, and I mean like, never no insufficient funds on your shit, like, who really gives a fuck about the lace? Bitch, I'm beautiful. Honest review on this wig, I was able to take this off that night and then, you know, Slip back on, slip back on, slip back on. Me having trust issues, my worst fear is my wig coming off when I don't secure it. So I'ma just spray a little got to be damn blow dry the lace down and it's going to look A1. <laughs> See, it's gonna scalp, I love that. This is raw Vietnamese hair. Y'all, I've never had no Vietnamese hair, but like this is, yeah, this is eating. This is eating. Ah! It's still good hair, y'all, I just, fell asleep in this wig and i was like yeah no you gotta stop doing that and that's another reason why i'm gonna stop uh start wearing gloomless wigs anyway because i like going to sleep and i fall asleep in and everywhere so literally i want to be able to you know say if i want to fall asleep in the car i can take my wig off in the car or say if i'm laying down i can easily just take my wig off because i know as soon as i blink I'm going to wake up in this morning time. I'm going to put the link to this hair in the bio and in the description and in the pinned comment because y'all need to know about this. LMT Cosmetics never disappoints. That's why we besties like this, like this. Oh my God, yeah, I just thought about it. Imagine this density and this, um, and this like feeling on 613 G, like that would be A1. She would definitely sell out. She would definitely sell out. Because, because I don't know if, about y'all, but like, it's kind of hard to find a good 613 wig where it's like not, not shedding, not brittle, not thin. Cause you know, if you get like a 30 inch 613 bust down, that shit is going to be thin as hell. I don't know why, but they just always do that. But yes, this, oh, this is fine. Anyways, before I get lost in my reflection, that was it. Yeah, I hope you liked it. Because if you didn't, you know what you could do. Chew a brick. I don't care. But yeah, uh, I'll be calling y'all next week. But next week as in Saturday because 
we finna get the confessions rolling. Shout out to us for being consistent. We didn't get the posting on the days we said we was gonna post, but we're still meeting the goal, okay? Okay, I'll call y'all back like next week some.